Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I have an exciting small little review overview of this Cumin Pinpointer model KW30. Now I got this for Christmas because I lost my uh, Garrett pinpointer a long time ago. Searched everywhere, couldn't find it. Who knows where it is? It could be in Florida on the beaches somewhere. I could have left it, who knows? So this year I got a Cumin. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, model KW30 and this is what it looks like. Uh, no, I haven't used this in the field yet. I'm saving that for the next metal detecting video when it comes, hopefully within a month or two um once hunting season ends but this is what it looks like it comes with its own little uh sheath or you know belt buckle thingy you could put it on uh so you can carry it on your hip if you want to um and you know it just adds a little bit extra maybe protection if it falls if you carry it around in the sheath um so this is what it looks like in its entirety i love the uh lanyard clip thing um that's another reason why I probably lost my other pinpointer is because I didn't uh, have anything to attach it to. This comes with the, the clip, the ring, and, you know, the little bouncy lanyard thing. So that's a lovely touch that I love very much already. Um, the orange and black color scheme is very nice. And obviously it, uh, it'll be hard to lose since it's a bright orange. Uh, because, you know, you're metal detecting, you're leaving your equipment on the ground everywhere and... Uh, sometimes if you're a little bit uh, unorganized, you could leave things. So this will uh, keep you from leaving it, hopefully, and be like, ah, oh, yeah, my pinpointer. Um, so very simple to use. You turn it on. This is their basic mode. Lights up so you know that it's on. I got two things to test it with today, one of which I just dropped on the ground. Metal detectors are always looking for coins. So I got a quarter. And then we always happen to find bottle caps instead. So I got a bottle cap. Um, again, this is not a field test, but to give you a little bit of an idea of how good it is, how it works, this is the quarter. You know, so it starts detecting about, you know, three, four inches when it gets close. So again pinpoint but what i love about this that the garrett pinpointer didn't do is the closer you get the more you know aggressive the uh, sound and vibration gets so you know you're right on it once it gets to that you're close closer closer right on it like a game of hot and cold you know same thing with the bottle cap oh man it detects the bottle cap a little bit like four and they're inch off. Bottle caps, I guess, are a stronger ping. Um, again, the side, the tip, anywhere it's close, you'll get the hit, which is very nice. It has two other modes just by pressing the power button again. You can just get vibrate. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but only vibrates. So if maybe you're metal detecting in a place where you shouldn't be, or uh, you just don't want to be obnoxious, or you don't like the beeping noises, you can change it to vibrate. And then you can get rid of the vibrate, maybe to save battery life, I don't know, and just have the noise. But um, I like it on both. I like the vibration and the noise together. Um, I don't know, it's a better experience. Um, more alerting to me. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do a couple tests just uh, through the hand, uh, see if I could get it through, you know, a few inches of uh, humanness to represent the dirt. Uh, because again, this isn't a field test. I'll do that when I do an actual video, but got the quarter in my hand. I'll do it front side first. Yep, detects it through my fingers. What about the back? Yep. So. If it's in a whole handful of dirt, you could definitely detect it. It kind of has to be touching my hand though, so 
which makes sense. It's about, you know, three, three, four inches within the hand. So again, with the bottle cap, the bottle cap just gives off a stronger reading. So I didn't have to touch my hand. So that's cool. Is there any metal in over here? That's where the nails are. So I'm going to put it now underneath the table, see if it detects it. Take it out. Good. So uh, this thing, very sensitive, very accurate. I love the, the feature where it gives you not only a, a vibration, but also a ping, like an uh, audible ping. And the closer you get to it, the more aggressive it gets. So you know how close you are until you ride on it. It's just amazing. A way, way better than the Garrett Pinpointer that I have. As of now, it, it could be different once we get into the field, but uh, I like this thing. I think it'll be very useful, a lot more enjoyable to use. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, it'll make the metal detecting experience a lot easier. And then once you're done with it, just hold the power button. It's off. So very easy. Um, very... Uh, simple, useful, um, ingenious, honestly. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I really like this Cumin KW30 pinpointer. I'm excited to use it. I hope y'all are excited to see me use it in the future. And, uh, I guess I might as well say it now. I have a new metal detector I will be using. I have the Bounty Hunter 4, I believe. So I've always used the Garrett Ace 150, which is, you know, your very basic, um, you know, metal detector for beginners. I, I love it. I've used it obviously for, you know, the whole time I've had YouTube and longer, but uh, now I got a, a step higher with the Bounty Hunter 4, I believe. Uh, it's about on the same level as the Garrett Ace 250, so just a notch higher. I'll see how I like it. Uh, the controls and everything, they're a little bit different. I probably won't do a review on it, but y'all will see me use it and I'll probably mention things about it the more videos I post. So, be on the lookout. I know y'all love the metal detecting videos. It's been a long time since last spring since I released one, but hunt season ends here in a few weeks, and I'm looking forward to really getting to metal detecting in the next few months um, until it gets you know too hot. So, yeah, again, I highly recommend this. Uh, I guess I should have given a rating before. I'm gonna give it as of now a solid five. I mean, it's useful, has a clip and everything with it, bright color love the way it works and uh, until proven otherwise this is a five out of five product so go take it from me maybe get this for yourself or a friend who likes metal detecting a kid um it should make their experience in finding whatever they're searching for a little bit easier which we'll see firsthand in the near future anyways enough babbling for me hope this was useful anyways if you like the video hit the like button. If you want to join the community, watch more outdoor videos, metal detecting, food reviews, anything like that, hit the sub button, join the Southern Woods community. Anyways, Southern Woods out.